In this video, we will see how to use a custom class with a hash set. So for example, we have an employee class with two properties int id and string name. And we want to use this employee class. We want to add this employee class to a hash set. Let's see how do we do that. So we initialize a hash set of type employee because we want to add employee objects. We name it employee set equals to new hash set. All right. Now we want to add employees. So we create a new employee object. We give it an ID and a name, let's say even. Then another employee object with ID2 and employee name E2. So right now this set has two distinct employee objects. So the size must be two. But then let's say we added one more object with the same ID and same name. As we can see, these two entries are duplicate entries and as per the set contract, set does not allow duplicates. So in the output, we should see only two values with ID one and with ID two. So let's try to print the set and let's see what happens. If we run this program now, we see three entries in the set it means it did not filter the duplicate element so the duplicate element was added to the set now think about it how did it happen the reason behind this is that this employee class does not override the equals method and to check the equality what hash set does it uses the equals method of the target class and if two objects are equal as per their equals method then only it does not allow the duplicate otherwise it uses the double equals which is the default behavior and based on that it check it sees okay these are not duplicate elements these are distinct objects so it allows them and this is the case here because employee does not override the equals so all three employee objects are distinct they are not considered duplicate to fix the problem we know what to do we simply need to override the equals method so we can use IntelliJ to override the equals method. By the way, if you are confused, there is another video on the object equality that you can refer. Now that we have equals method in the class, this time if we run the code, then we see only two entries in the set. It means this time set was able to figure out that, that these two objects are duplicate because now it has the equals method that it can use basically to compare two employee objects. And the implementation of equals says that if ID and name are same for two objects, then treat them as equal. And so it did because for these two entries, ID and name, they are same one and even so it considered the second entry as a duplicate and it did not add that entry to the set so always make sure that you override the equals properly if you are using your own custom class with hash set